Hello friends, my name is Red Henry and we've got another program of optical fun for you. Today we're going to talk about extracting and converting old binocular eyepieces and getting them ready to use in telescopes. And you might ask why old binocular eyepieces? It's because the eyepieces in old binoculars, like these, are easier to look through, have sharper images, and have wider fields of view than the ones which come with beginner's telescopes. And over the last five years, I've extracted over 800 binocular eyepieces, put them on barrels to use in telescopes, and sent them to beginners across the USA. The whole idea is to make astronomy easier and more fun for the people that are starting out so that, we hope, they'll like it more and stick with it. Now, to do this, do you need a lot of tools? No. Take a look at this tool set. This is what you can find usually in your typical kitchen hardware drawer. Just a few pair of pliers, a few screwdrivers, cheap stuff. And we hardly ever need anything more than that. The next thing we need to think about is the barrels. Once you have the eyepiece, you're going to have to put it on a barrel so it'll fit in the telescope focuser. American hardware stores sell this part. It's a 12 inch tube threaded on each end, one and a quarter inches in diameter. The secret is it's a little smaller than one and a quarter inches in diameter. This is the only part I know of available in America that really makes good eyepiece barrels in their one and a quarter inch size. It's available in a 12 inch length and in a six inch length. Now, what you have to do is, when you go to the hardware store, take along a focuser, a Barlow lens, or some other one and a quarter inch fitting like that, because not all of the pieces are going to work. Try them all. Try every one and make sure that it'll go into that one and a quarter inch fitting, and then you know you can make eyepiece barrels out of it. Only about one third of the parts probably are going to work. Now, for the small size, the 0.965 inch size, you might say, well, why make eyepieces in that little bitty size like this? It's because a lot of people still have those old telescopes. They find them in flea markets, attics, thrift stores, places like that, and they need the small eyepiece size and there is no place they can get good eyepieces in that 0.965 inch barrel anymore, except to take them out of binoculars. Hardware stores have a three quarter inch copper pipe coupler and the outside diameter of it is close enough to 0.965 inches and you can cut barrels for the smaller eyepieces out of this. Again, take a focuser with you or a Marlow lens, some way to make sure that the part you find really will fit into a 0.965 inch fitting. Now, whether you're using one and a quarter inch tubing or 0.965 inch tubing, make sure you spray paint the inside of the barrel black while it's still one great big piece of tubing because it makes it a lot easier later on. Now there's another approach to getting the barrels for the eyepiece. You can take barrels off other old cheap eyepieces or you can buy them new. Surplus Shed and some other places sell barrels both in the one and a quarter inch size and in the uh, 0.965 inch size and they cost about $13, including shipping for three of them. But since I like to work on a cheaper basis than that, I just like to cut my barrels out of the hardware store parts. And what is our end product going to be? What are we trying to accomplish? These are eyepieces that I have made by taking them out of old binoculars and remounting them into the right size barrels to fit in telescopes. These eyepieces work great, as I said, they're better eyepieces than the ones that come with entry level telescopes, either in the one and a quarter inch size or 
in the .965 inch size. They do real well. I've had lots and lots of positive reports, lots of happy people who have tried these in their telescopes and they really like them. And the first binoculars we're gonna talk about are these. These are old seven by 50 binoculars, which I found on eBay. The condition of a binocular you use can be really rotten. You just need to make sure the eyepieces are intact. And otherwise, the binoculars can't be broken. Uh, it doesn't matter if they're in junk condition. And the reason we're going to talk about these first is that on individual focus eyepieces, where you have to turn each eyepiece to get it into focus, these are the easiest eyepieces to extract and use in telescopes. And I'll show you why. These eyepieces, as we mentioned, screw up and down manually, unless they happen to be stuck. These are stuck in order to focus. Now, unscrew that eyepiece till it's at the focus limit and then keep unscrewing it. And if, well, if it's a little bit stubborn, you might need to help it a little bit with the pliers. Like that. Keep unscrewing it. Because it'll unscrew right out of the binocular body like this. They like to use fine threads in making binoculars. Now, you've got the eyepiece. Take off the eye cup, phenolic or rubber, because you want to be able to get close to the lens with your eye to maximize the field of view. And here we've got the eyepiece. Take yourself a piece of that tubing that we were just talking about from the plumbing uh, department of the hardware store. Epoxy the eyepiece into it, and there you have one eyepiece ready to go, ready to put in your telescope and try out. It's just that quick, just that easy, just that simple. How about the second one? Looks like it may need a little bit of persuasion too. Be careful, don't bend anything if you have to use the pliers on it. Unscrew the other eyepiece. Now we can take this eyepiece and like I see, take off the eye cup and put it right into a piece of the hardware store tubing and you're ready to go. Now, let's talk about other sizes of binoculars. When we're speaking of the 7x50 binocular eyepieces, usually these eyepieces are between 24 millimeters and 26 millimeters focal length. And they're excellent eyepieces. They have sharp images, as I said, and they have about a 60 degree apparent field of view. They're really nice eyepieces, uh, low power eyepieces for people to use in their telescopes. Okay, so there we have individual focus binoculars. They're really easy to get the eyepieces out of. Next, we're going to talk about center focus binoculars that have a center wheel, usually a big wheel like this, to focus both eyepieces at the same time. And this makes it more complicated to get the eyepieces out, but it can still be done. 7x35 binoculars usually have eyepieces of 18 millimeters to 20 millimeters focal length, a really nice medium focal length. And some of them are of exceptional quality. If you can find an old pair of Sears binoculars like this, like these junk ones I bought off eBay, the eyepieces have excellent eye relief with big eye lenses. They have terrific fields of view. These particular Sears binocular eyepieces have about an 80 degree apparent field of view. They're great. Now, how do we get them out? First of all, we ought to take off that eye cup. In this case, it's a flexible eye cup. We can take it off like that. Okay, now here's the eyepiece. If you're lucky, you can unscrew the eyepiece. We'll give it a start there with the big pliers and then 
unscrew that eyepiece. The uh, knurled ring at the top comes out. And here is that eyepiece. It needs to be cleaned off. What I use is xylol or xylene and an old toothbrush. Get some xylene on that old toothbrush and sort of swab it on to that eyepiece because it's got a bunch of old grease on it. This works with all kinds of binocular parts. We'll be using it on some other parts later. Sometimes it takes two or three times. So I'll have that xylene on there. It's a little easier to use than acetone. Not quite as strong as acetone. And once you have it applied and wiped off, then you've got the eyepiece all ready to go. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna unscrew the center fitting. And then you got a fitting here. Sometimes it'll unscrew, sometimes it won't. In this case, can't really get it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these two focuser arms off the center shaft. Just occasionally, you'll need to use a hacksaw. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut the two focuser arms off the center shaft, and it only takes a few seconds each. One. Two. Okay, now we've got some parts here and we'll go back to the other bench and see what we can show you. Mm -hmm. Now, we're back here, and you see that the eyepieces were sliding up and down on these two cylindrical fittings. I call them focuser cylinders. And the two cylinders will come out. Usually, they're not fastened in very closely. And usually, they'll need to be cleaned the same way as we clean the eyepiece. So let's take those out. And once we've got the eyepiece and the focus cylinders, we don't need the binoculars anymore. What we're going to do is we'll put the eyepiece back in the focus cylinder like that. Now, let's take a section of one and a quarter inch tubing again. There's your eyepiece. It's all together, epoxy that together, and it's ready to go in the telescope. Now, here's the second eyepiece from that pair of binoculars, which still has part of the focuser arm attached to it. How do we extract it? This is when things can get a little bit more tedious. Take your very tiny screwdriver and notice that around the edge of this knurled ring, there are three tiny set screws. Sometimes there's only one. Most often there are three. And we want to unscrew those in order to be able to get the eyepiece out. So, let's see how we do here. Sometimes the screws are stuck so tight that they won't come out. Other times they're kind of difficult, but you can unscrew them. Like that. If they won't unscrew, drill them out. Okay. With the three screws out, the knurled cap lifts right off, and you can unscrew the eyepiece from the top or the back. In this case, it wouldn't come out the top. We'll try unscrewing it from the back of the assembly. Okay, we have the eyepiece out. It needs to be cleaned, just like we did with the other one. Now, here's another piece of hardware. This is just junk. We can discard that. And we take the focuser ring. After cleaning them both, 
it goes together just like the first eyepiece did and goes into a section of one and a quarter inch tubing the same way. Now we have a new challenge, modern compact binoculars. These have nice, usually 10 millimeter eyepieces and they work great in uh, both one and a quarter inch barrels and 0.965 inch barrels. Uh, they're especially good for use in the small telescopes. Now, first of all, I'm going to take off this rubberized coating, which is, well, as I say, all binoculars are different. And sometimes you have some that come apart more easily than you expect. Now, there's an eyepiece here. Let's see if we can get this rubberized coating off the outside. We may need to cut it off. Oh, there we go. Okay. This is typical of the eyepieces in modern compact binoculars. You need to cut off the focuser arm and then the eyepiece will be ready to mount. In this case, it's big enough that you can epoxy it onto a one and a quarter inch barrel. Or one of my favorite things to do is to put these epoxied onto a 0.965 inch barrel because the eyepiece will work great either way. On these little compact binocular eyepieces, just get them out of the mounts any way you can. In this case, I'm just going to use some diagonal cutters and cut off the extra. And you can file the rough places off and then they're ready to mount. And so we have all these eyepieces that we've extracted from the three different kinds of binoculars. As we said, you can take the eyepieces from the seven by fifties and put them right into the eyepiece barrels. You can take the eyepieces from the seven by 35 binoculars and put them in their focuser tubes and put that right into an eyepiece barrel. You can take one of the compact binocular eyepieces after you file off the rough edges and epoxy it onto the top of a one and a quarter inch barrel or onto a 965 inch barrel. Experiment with it. See what fits together best. Very often, eyepieces from 7 by 35 binoculars will fit very well with some epoxy onto one of the small barrels. Sometimes I take these uh, 24 millimeter to 26 millimeter eyepieces out of 7 by 50 binoculars and epoxy them onto the small barrels because the people who need eyepieces that size need long focal eyepieces too. And so there you have ways to extract the eyepieces from three different kinds of binoculars. In this case, it was always pretty easy for us to do that. Each of these binoculars came apart pretty easy. Sometimes it's harder to get them apart. Sometimes the eyepieces are more stubborn. Sometimes they're put into the binoculars in more complicated ways. But just keep unscrewing things, keep taking things apart, keep messing with it, and eventually they'll come out. And so there's an outline of it. That's how to take eyepieces out of old binoculars and get them ready to use in telescopes. And that's really all there is to it. There's no theory about it. There's nothing complicated about it. It doesn't cost much money. It doesn't take many tools. You just have to fool around with the binoculars long enough to get the eyepieces out. And as I said, binoculars are all different. Sometimes it's harder to get the eyepieces out of them. Just keep on working with it, keep on fiddling with it, and they will come out. I'll guarantee it. And there you have the story of how to extract and reuse binocular eyepieces for astronomy.